So as you can see from the picture, I attempted to drill larger holes into my half cylinder aquarium and I didn't realize it was tempered and it shattered. So I was faced with a dilemma. What can I do about this problem? Either I'm going to fix it or throw out the tank. So I decided, okay, this is a nice tank, so let me fix it. So I had a few options. My first thought was I'll just order a new piece of glass, half cylinder, and replace it. And so that's what I did. All right, so step one, I had to remove the old glass and remove the trim. So I had to take a razor blade, go along the edge, scrape all of that off. Um, it took quite a while to go ahead and remove all of that old silicone, but you know, it was a necessary process. So I got to work, removed all the silicone, um, took a hammer and chisel and uh, separated the, uh, the cracked glass from the glass that was still good, the front and the, and the back side. And then uh, I ordered a new glass and was going to go ahead and put that on there. But I accidentally ordered that glass about a quarter of an inch thick, um, which I felt was too thin. Even though it was going to be on the bottom and it would be supported by the frame, I felt that was too thin. So anybody who's shopped around for glass, you, you know when you're shopping around for glass, that stuff's not cheap. Uh, that piece, actually I got for a decent price. I think it cost me about $120. But to get it in a thickness that I wanted, I was looking at two, $300. And that was the cheapest place I found. Uh, other places were talking four to $500. So that was a costly error. So I had to find another way to fix this tank or else scrap it. Just throw it out or find a way to fix it. So I had an idea. So instead of making the bottom of the tank out of glass, I decided I'm gonna make it out of plywood. So a lot of people, if you're not familiar with making anything out of plywood, you're probably looking like, uh, that's crazy. You can't have an aquarium bottom that holds water with plywood. Well, actually, you can. Thanks to uh, people like Mr. DIY uh, and other videos I've seen on YouTube, you could actually take plywood and make it waterproof. So I decided to waterproof the bottom by using Pond Armor. Uh, that's Pond Armor, Pond Shield. Um, you can look it up and get it on Amazon. And there's plenty of videos on how to do that, so I'm not going to post a video on how to do that per se. I'm just going to show you exactly how it came out and what you can do with it. The beautiful thing about using Pond Armor is that it has a glass-like finish, so it's good for siliconing things to it. So I can easily silicone the, the current glass to this plywood bottom that I'm going to build. It looks really attractive. I chose the white because it, it looks pretty good as you can see in the pictures. But you can pretty much make it in any color. Blue, black, red, green, whatever. You can, uh, they have a lot of different colors of pond armor. So you know you just, I just uh, cut out the bottom in the shape of the half cylinder aquarium and I coated it with this pond armor and I also coated the uh, the holes for the bulkhead so just in case they were to leak it's not gonna leak into the wood and swell it up so coated everything with pond armor I even coated the other side just in case as you know with aquariums there's leaks spills and things like that so coated all of it with pond armor and I went ahead and siliconed it to the tank and let's see what happened so to make sure that it was waterproof I went ahead and I filled it up with uh, some good old tap water and I let that water sit in the tank for about a week or two to make sure that it was good no leaks that it would hold up now the stand itself was not in that good of uh, condition either so I decided you know to go ahead and do some work on it I went and I peeled off all of that 
old material that was covering the stand and I just painted it, put some uh, glaze on it. Um, I took the doors off, the glass doors off, because they were kind of, uh, uh, all the metal parts on there were corroded. So I went and, you know, sanded all that stuff down, repainted that. Uh, just made sure that the stand looked uh, pretty decent, got it in decent condition. Since I already had the tank off of it, uh, and I'm going through all this effort to rebuild this tank, essentially, I might as well make, this, make sure the stand looks decent, you know. Uh, this is my first time using a glaze, so it came out okay. Uh, I've used it more since then, and uh, the more and more you do something, the more practice you get, the better you get at it. So what I didn't mention is that I had got this uh, whole setup. I got it from somebody on Craigslist, so I didn't know if it could hold water, if the stand was any good, what the condition was of it. So I decided, okay, let me put it on the stand, fill it with water again, and let's see how it looks. You know, let's make sure that the stand can hold everything up. And as you can see, I filled it with water and it's held water. Uh, it's been, it's doing pretty good. I tried to build like a sand waterfall and all that other good stuff using uh, some foam. Eh, we'll see if we'll keep it or not. I'll probably end up pulling that off of there, but uh, you know, it was an idea. I was getting maybe a little overzealous. But so far, uh, that was about maybe like a month or two ago and it's holding water quite fine. It's looking pretty good. So for me, the point of this video was just to kind of let people see, you know, that you can actually make uh, an aquarium bottom out of plywood. You know, so instead of having to spend a bunch of money on a new sheet of glass, if you crack a piece of your aquarium or you do something silly like I did, you know, you can just go ahead and just go to your hardware store, get a piece of plywood, uh, use some pond armor, and voila, it's repaired.